day one of my 10 day no spend challenge. As per usual, I'm having a coffee at home, not wasting money by getting coffee in a cafe. And I have a um, coffee with hot cream in it. So it's kind of like a bullet coffee, um, keeps me going for a really long time and stops me from like popping to the shops and getting like snacks like muffins and banana bread. Right, I have packed my lunch for work today. I have some kale, a boiled egg, some avocado and some leftover sweet potato from dinner last night. So not only am I saving money, but I'm also reducing my wastage. Right, so this morning we are making our coffees for our, our no spend challenge. Rocco's just made me a delicious um, bullet coffee. Now yesterday we had an impromptu play date with my goddaughter and Rocco's best friend, Wattie. We think they're gonna get married one day. And I was about to jump in the car to go pick her up. And in my head I'm like, I should really quickly um, swing by and grab some quiches for them in case they might get hungry and a quiche is a really great way of getting vegetables into them. And then I caught myself and went, stop, hang on. It's no spend, um, 10 day no spend challenge. You don't need to do that. I opened up my handbag and the fridge and throw um, a range of lots of different little snacks for them and took them to the office in my local park and they were so happy playing and eating all the different types of snacks. Um, also last night I had to spend some money. I had to get a babysitter because it was my dad's 80th birthday and we went out to dinner um, as a family and unfortunately it was a bit too late for Rocco to be up to be up that. Um, at that time so it, it is what it is I'm obviously I can't spend absolutely nothing I do need to spend on the essentials but um, it was money well spent because I had a really nice time just quickly heading to the supermarket I'm only gonna buy exactly what I need for the next couple of days so not only am I not wasting money I'm not wasting food everything I'm going to buy I'm gonna eat in the next couple of days so I shopped really responsibly I stuck to only what I needed I bought um, some a loaf of banana bread which I've already hoed into because I was a little bit peckish whilst driving um, and that's going to be Actors um, packed snacks for Rocco's play date this afternoon. I bought one carrot because that's all um, Tom needs um, for his dinner tonight amongst other food obviously which I've already got. Essentials, toilet paper, green matcha I think you said powder which I have been wanting to try for ages and my friend Tess at work very kindly bought in her so I could try it before buying and it was great. Was shopping naked, I didn't have any bags but then just towards the very very end as I was buying this I accidentally walked out with this so I'm actually going to return it back to the grocery store. Something is wrong with me, all I can think about is quiches it's just on my brain like I woke up this morning thinking for lunch I'll get a quiche like a goat's cheese and pumpkin quiche. Anyway, I have managed to operate self-control and discipline and I am making myself very cost-effective, not looking particularly attractive, um, scrambled eggs for lunch today, but costing barely anything and also eating up all the bits in my fridge as well. We are just having a play date with some of Rocco's friends. I've got snacks for the kids. Um, and I've also bought my book, um, Zero Waste Life by Nita Van Dyke to lend to my um, uh, Rocco's friend's mum. Um, so we're also all saving money and having a zero spend um, month. Today we are going to the zoo. Now I actually have an annual membership for Rocco and myself and my goddaughter to the zoo but it's actually just about to expire. So we're going to use it one last time and I've packed all these snacks for them um, to take to the zoo. So I've peeled and chopped um, carrots and apples. Um, I've also bought these munch um, seeds and nuts. Um, teriyaki seaweed, some healthy stuff. Woolworths have got these new beetroot um, seeds or nuts or something so trying that and some yogurts and obviously some more fruit and even as a treat in case they want like chocolates and ice creams and stuff like that I've packed some um, digestive chocolate biscuits I'm still really determined to like keep this as a zero spend weekend this is gonna be my weakness because when it comes to Rocco and my goddaughter when they ask for something I have a rubber arm and I give it to them so I'm gonna try and be really strict and before we go I'm enjoying a coffee um, at home so I, I'm also saving money this is the best money I've ever spent. I love it. We have just turned Hi. up to the zoo and we are not parking in the zoo park car, car park because Hi. it's really expensive. We've parked the car around the corner, just a two minute walk, no big deal. So we cracked it, we spent some money. I bought Rocco a biscuit, I bought Wattie, my goddaughter, an icy pole, and I'm rewarding myself with a coffee because 
I am exhausted from walking around the zoo all day. It is Sunday morning and Tom is taking me to breakfast as a treat. We wouldn't normally like waste money um, by going to breakfast. It's a bit of a luxury and like a once in a while thing to do. But because he's going to be traveling so much with work over the next couple of months, it's, he thought it was a nice way to do something together before he jumps on a plane. I am so hungry. I cannot wait. The one thing that's really come up like repeatedly this weekend is the desire to go and buy a beautiful bunch of fresh flowers for my house. Anyway, I resisted the urge and then I realized I've actually got a really beautiful tree outside. It's a camellia tree outside my own house. So I'm gonna go and chop um, some of this, these flowers off myself and put them on um, my table. This Over this weekend, I've spent a lot of time inside, like I'm trying to avoid maybe temptation of spending money. And so whilst over the weekend, I decided to list a few things on Gumtree. Anyway, someone just turned up and bought something that I was literally going to throw away um, for $20. It was a camera lens that I just what I wasn't using. It was a complete waste of space. And anyway, not only am I um, saving money but not spending it, I'm making money too. Um, I just dropped off some dry cleaning and I feel really bad because I quickly like ran in and dropped my stuff off. I was like, I know I've got heaps of stuff here and I've got to come and pick it up, but I will in a couple of days and like bolt it out. And luckily my, the um, dry cleaners that I use are so lovely and she's like, it's fine, no, don't worry. But it made me realize this no spending challenge is not good for the community or the economy. By me not spending, that might cause a, like picking up my stuff and paying her um, for my dry cleaning. That could actually have a flow on effect in her own business and in her own personal financial situation. So this zero spend, whilst it's really beautiful and I'm really liking the break from not spending, it also can have a negative side effect for people around you. I just returned that plastic bag. Uh, yesterday I had a really budget friendly day. I spent a total of $4. Um, I had to go to an event for work. I like emceed an event. Which, well, hosted it which was really fun and they had the most delicious food at this event um, uh, and then when I got to work um, I was so tired because it was a really early start I was so tired um, so I splurged on a muffin which wasn't particularly healthy at all but I was so tired and run down um, and I was also so tired and run down I was actually just like stuff this I'm not cooking tonight I'm gonna get I'll get it like a healthy takeaway salad for dinner tonight for Tom and I I don't care like I just I don't have the energy to cook let alone clean up afterwards but then um, spontaneously we were invited to a friend's house for dinner which was lovely and they cooked the most incredible meal I'm still full from last night so really budget friendly um, uh, day today I'm actually feeling really tired still and run down my throat sore I've got blocked nose my ear we've got one blocked ear so I'm actually thinking I might honor myself by getting a salad for lunch um, and actually pay, like spending some money because you have to honor your well-being in doing this I'm realizing from zero spend I need lots of vegetables into my system um, and I'm so tired I actually don't have time to go to the shops quickly make a salad before work I've just I've stuffed my day up a bit I should have probably been more organized I am about to pick Rocco up from daycare I'm taking a couple of minutes to just like hibernate in the car before the onslaught of Rocco coming home um, I just had a little bit of a stuff up with the no spend um, I went to the butchers to get some meat um, for the next week or two and I spent a oh, a little bit more than I planned. Um, Tom happened to call me just before I went to the butchers and asked me where I was and I was going off. I said, I'm going to the world's best butcher. He said, oh great, can you guess, grab some scotch fillets? And I sort of said, yeah, no problem. Oh my God, scotch fillet. No wonder I don't, I f that's why I don't buy it. It's so frigging expensive. It was like $31.62. I was like, you went to charge me. And I, there was no way I was gonna say, sorry, that's too expensive, put it back. I felt too uncomfortable. I was like, okay. So I'm gonna save those scotch fillets for a special occasion. That is ridiculously expensive. And I'm not a big meat eater either. So that's even, that's really wasteful. I'm annoyed with myself about that. Oh, yesterday for zero spending, um, as I agreed with myself, I allowed myself to have a salad um, from my local cafe. And this cafe is such a great cafe to support. They also donate all the unsold food at the end of the day um, to charity, which is fantastic. Today I've got my lunch already, which I cooked from last night. So um, I already had my morning coffee. Um, 
and I'm trying to um, lose a little bit of weight so I'm determined to not get a muffin this morning. Um, hopefully I'll have another really successful zero spending day. However, I do need to make a quick trip to Woolworths. I need dog food. I need um, oh, a couple of other essentials. So zero spend, I'm at the supermarket buying the essentials. I would normally grab the finish um, powder, but I'm gonna use this month as a perfect opportunity to experiment. I'm gonna try the Shine All-in-One Dishwasher Tablets, which are on the special. On that note, it is so important that you check the comparison. So this, is seven, this one is 75 cents per tablet. This one is 16 cents per tablet like um that's a substantial saving of almost like 80 percent i have some leftovers from dinner last night which i am taking to work so a nice healthy sweet potato salad no spending challenge just got thrown a curveball i had this lovely lady turn up to my office um, and she was selling french macarons um, anzac biscuits and truffles and i just couldn't help but admire her initiative and um, proactive measure like to make some extra cash so I had to buy a couple of packets of biscuits from her and give it to the girls in the office so yep I spent money I definitely didn't shouldn't have done it but it was definitely worth it it's nice to support other people so okay I just spent some money after I swore to myself I was gonna spend no money today um, there's this amazing cafe near my house called the organic bread bar and they make the most incredible um, organic spelt scones with blueberries and almonds. It's so incredibly delicious. I bought one for Rocco for after school today because he's got karate and he's always starving when I pick him up. Um, I need to make sure he's full for his exercise. And I'm also um, going to be work from home today. Um, I'm a little bit behind, not only on the $1,000 project, but also on my um, book. So that's gonna be my reward to sit down at my laptop with a cup of tea and much on that while I, whilst I type away with all my ideas, inspirations for getting ahead financially. Yesterday was the second last day of my zero spend challenge. We had karate and we would normally take the kids to go and grab pizza for dinner. But this time um, I cooked the kids dinner, took it over to my girlfriend's house and um, all the kids had dinner together and um, her and I enjoyed a glass of wine and some cheese. So one other thing I did was I, last weekend, I made my own cleaning products. Um, excuse the kids in the background, we had a sleepover last night. Um, to, so I don't have to waste money buying um, cleaning products anymore. Um, the flow and effect from doing the zero spend challenge has continued. Oh my God, look at these crazy kids. I just caved in. I bought Rocco a tiny key ring, which he is obsessed with. Um, bit of a fail there on zero spend. This is the last day of our zero spend challenge. It's coming to an end. We are off to a play date at one of our local parks. I've packed a whole pile of snacks in my bag and I've packed a bottle of wine for myself and my girlfriend to enjoy. Now we will be catching an Uber there so that we can drive safely. And today I have been cooking up a storm. I've got my slow cooker happening over there. <laughs> And uh, we're going to enjoy the rest of the weekend just hanging out at home, not spending any money and um, just laying low. And I have to say, this has been a fantastic challenge. I really recommend it. It's good for the wallet. It's good for the soul. It's good for the heart. It's good for you, Rocco. <laughs> I hope this video has inspired you.